When, you, when it gets to a certain level, you know, the regular season, it's just like, <clears throat> well, well, I approach it different. If I'm, if I'm fighting a guy that they're trying to say he's just a regular guy, I'm still going, I'm still going to train extremely hard and work extremely hard, even if he's a champion or he's just, you know, an ordinary opponent. Um, to whereas I think in the NBA, you know, when I look at it, I think um, Clay Thompson and Stephen Curry, you know, throughout the regular season, they played, they, they was playing like it was a playoff game. So, and, and they had the same approach in the playoffs. Floyd, let me ask you this question. Like, you, obviously, everybody knows you're in phenomenal shape. What do you do, like, 72 hours before the fight as far as cardio? Are you done training? Do you do anything to, like, break a, break a, get a little wind going? I always wondered that, because I know you're, clearly you're not going to go out and run five miles or spar for five or ten rounds. What do you do, like, 72 hours mm -hmm. leading up to Saturday night? Well, tonight uh, we will have a what we call a light shakeout. We'll go in the gym and just you know work light, probably light 36 minutes because that's 12 rounds. We'll go work the hand pads, the heavy bag, and a body suit. Um, jump, jump a little rope, a little speed bag, then go home and rest and wait for the weigh-in tomorrow. And um, what I've been doing every day is basically watching playoff playoff basketball and um, just watching movies, relaxing. Of course, you know, all the hard work is put in. Now it's time to go out there and, and do what I do best. Given all the hard work that does go into it and all the, the game planning for a fight, how long does it take you once a, once the bout has begun to know that, yeah, we are perfectly prepared for this guy, or are you ever surprised? Well, you know, most opponents come out, you know, every guy game plan is to you know, apply a lot of pressure, throw a lot of punches. And my thing is just to, <clears throat> my thing is just to um, uh, take my time and listen to my corner. And every move is a calculated move. Well, Floyd, you say that you, you know, you relax, you got tunnel vision, you're watching NBA basketball. So who's going to win it all? Um, I can't really say, <laughs> you know. Um, Who I'll, do you, you like? Know, you know, when you're in Las Vegas, <laughs> I like all the teams. You know, I just like to watch basketball. I'm a fan of basketball, so, you know, I love watching basketball. You know, when I'm not training for a fight, I'm traveling around the country watching basketball. Floyd, we've been waiting for this fight a very long time. In the perfect world, we all know yeah. you want to win, but would you want to win by knockout, knockout or would you rather win by decision? Um, of course, I, w I would love to win by uh, knockout. You know, I'm going to press the attack early. I'm pretty sure he's coming, you know. Um, at me extremely strong. So we just see how everything plays out. You know, I'm in tip-top shape, and um, I worked extremely hard for this fight. You know, Floyd, obviously you have supreme confidence, and just obviously it's been all over the place. I can't wait to get there Saturday night. Let me ask you this question. You said you <laughs> yeah. don't watch any tape on, on Pacquiao. Now, is that the way it's always been for you? You never watch your opponent leading up to a fight? Um... No, I've never watched my opponent on any on any film, no any films or any tapes because I feel like when he get when a fighter fa faces Floyd Mayweather, it's totally different. I think that s some have a certain game plan, but once they get inside that square circle, the game plan changes up. So, I mean, they may fight one fighter different, but fight me a total different way. So. I mean, my thing was to never watch tapes. Go out there and do what I do best. Floyd Mayweather, I know you've done a million interviews this week, and we, uh, we appreciate you including <laughs> us. Uh, and, and good luck million to you on, one. on Saturday night. <laughs> million and one. Good luck, buddy. Thank you. Good luck, man. You no got, question. Good you luck, Floyd. Keep up the good work. Thank uh, you. Questions. Don't call you it work. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> so what do you know? Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. Are, are you ready to make a call on this? I, I'm not making a call on this fight. Uh, it's just, Ernie. First of all, I wish this fight had happened two or three years ago. These are the best of their generation. And I just want to see a great fight. I mean, it's been a long time. This reminds me of Holyfield Tyson, uh, Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, Termy Hearn, Sugar Ray Leonard. Ali, no, but I'm saying I, I, I didn't go to those fights, though. Okay, okay. Like, the build up. So, man, I just, I just hope, you know, it's, it's all anybody's talk. I just hope it's a great, great fight.
Kenny? Well, I, I'm not going to be smart enough to say I know when the man who's 47 and know is going to lose a fight. I'm going 48 no. I've never had the pleasure of meeting uh, Manny Pacquiao. He's been a great champion and a great uh, fighter, but a guy's never lost, man. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not smart enough to pick the fight that he's going to lose. You know, there's a lot of great boxers, but there's only a handful of elite boxers, and you have to include Floyd Mayweather in that class of being elite. And I don't really see him losing. You know, everybody wants his fight. He's been wanting this fight. I don't really see him not coming in focused, ready to lose this fight. Here's, here's the definitive word. He will still be unbeaten at the end of the night, but it's going to be a draw. And there will be oh, a Mayweather Let me tell you something. I, when I get to Vegas, and that's, I'm going to put somebody, Ernie, let me tell you something. I'm going to bet on a draw. Yeah. And if it's not a draw, I'm going to come in here next week and knock your head off. Well, I don't think your hands are fast enough. Why, it's Ernie been why would that be mine? Because Ernie, Ernie, Ernie would do five miles yeah. 72 hours out. 